What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Guys, do I have a treat for you. Have you ever thought to yourself, you know, I wish there was a female version of Dr. Phil that was even harsher on people and actually punished them for being idiots? Well, for the two people out there that have probably thought that exact thought, you're in luck. Guys, watch until the very end today because we are about to see this woman go in on some people and trust me, it's not very pretty. I'm older, smarter. If you live to be 120, you're not gonna be as smart as I am in one finger. Do you understand? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, court is in session today, and we're gonna be taking a look at some classic Judge Judy court moments and proceedings here. For those of you too young or maybe out of the loop and didn't know this show or didn't have it around growing up, it's this judge named Judy, and crazy, I know, you probably would not expect that from the title alone. And she is normally just doing these small court cases where people stole like little amounts of money, but the way she handles it <laughs> is so funny. She would be the scariest teacher in the world because she does not mess around and honestly gets down to business right away. You can tell just by this ice cold intro she just delivered. <laughs> you claim that they defrauded you. You won the auctions, you sent them the money, and you didn't get what you were supposed to get. And when you complained about it, Miss Filkins? Yes posted defamatory comments about you on your eBay website. So yeah, this mom and daughter both tried to purchase two old Nokia phones for like 200 bucks. Also, think back to a time where you actually could pay only 200 bucks for a phone straight up and not have to be on some payment plan or take out a thousand bucks just to pay for it up front. I mean, I'll admit the phones back in the mid 2000s were trash and probably terrible by today's standards, but wow, do I miss that time. Sent her your money and you, this envelope came. Correct. Along with these pictures of the cell phones. That's exactly what was in there. Finessed. <laughs> this woman dropped 450 bucks on these two phones and just got two sheets of paper with pictures of said phones on there. You know, now that I think about it, back in the day, it was probably so easy to scam people on eBay as it was a little bit less of a known site and less people use the internet overall, and they probably didn't have as good of a security system as they do now. Wait, actually, I take that back. I know of people that have still gotten scammed on eBay in 2019, so maybe scummy people will forever be scamming on there. But yeah, I would just be so tilted if I was this woman. So you called her and said, where are my phones? And she said, actually, I've never talked to her. I talked to her husband. And her husband told me that uh, I paid for what I got. Thank you for the shopping spree. I asked him for my money back, and he said, no, I've already spent the money on merchandise I wanted to get. And he laughed and told me to take him to court. So I hung up the phone, and I have not talked to them since. All right, yeah, this couple is just one of those couples. You know, probably trolling through auction websites online back in the day, trying to scam people so that he can go to Hot Topic and get a dope snapback he's been wanting for months. But he doesn't have a real job, so he just sends people photos of items they bought from him so he can get money from them. I love how he even tells the lady, take me to court, bro. Like, he probably thought by saying that to the woman that she wouldn't do it, but that's actually 100% the most reasonable course of action. Of course she's going to do that. Uh, it states very clearly in the auction that this is for a photo only. I sent her the photo. Show me where it says that. Show me where it says that. Oh, come on. This lady's trying to pull that card. It says very clearly in the auction that it's for a photo only. Oh yeah, we lied about it weighing only five ounces, but other than that, it's legit. I don't think this is very fair, your honor. Like, how idiotic can you be? You're a scammer, just admit to it. The paper that she just handed you, that I sent her, that was part of the- Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. I want you to, listen. Listen to me carefully. <laughs> yes, boys. This is the material you can expect from this lady if you've never seen her before. This dumb woman was trying to lie about what was on the ad, and that's not going to fly in this courtroom. Guys, when Judge Judy removes the glasses, you know things are about to get real bad for whoever she's talking to. She even gives the desk some slaps like she just died in Overwatch. I don't think I've actually seen her get this tilted so quickly before, so it's kind of miraculous that we're starting on this one. The audience, of course, loves it, though. I bet at this point, everyone in the audience is just there to see this whole thing go down in person. They probably don't even care about the actual court cases. You're an idiot <laughs> and a scammer. And the reason your husband is not here, what's your first name? Kelly. Kelly, the reason your husband is not here is because he sent you here to the lion's den because he was a coward. Oh my God, boys, this is so good. I feel the adrenaline running through my veins from this rant right here. Go off, sis. Well, never, never thought I'd actually say that. I take that back. I'm sorry. But no, but really, this lady is seriously so stupid to think that she and her husband could keep getting away with stuff like this. And if it truly was the husband's idea, it is kind of whack that he didn't show up and instead had his wife go. But like Judge Judy said here, he probably knew that she was about to tear him a new one. So he was like, oh, shoot, can't find a babysitter, babe. Hey, can you go to this little court thing instead? Shouldn't be anything big. It's just like a small claims court. 
Little does she know, she's literally going there to be torn to shreds. I love that she keeps opening her mouth as Judge Judy is going off on her as well. It's like when your parents are yelling at you as a kid and you want to get that word out so badly, but you know if you talk and interrupt them, it's just going to make things even worse for you. That if you are married to this man, and the two of you not only unfortunately married to each other, two scammers, but created children together, that's unfortunate for the children. You're a thief. Oh my God, she's absolutely going on a tear right now. Her calling this woman a liar and a scammer wasn't enough, so she went off about how big of a wimp her husband is for not showing up and the fact that he's a lying, scamming piece of trash as well. And now she's literally telling this woman, it's sad that you two had kids because you two should not be parenting children in this world if you're such terrible human beings. I know she's a judge, but she truly has no filter and that's what makes his show so glorious. What I don't understand is somebody with the unenviable position of being in your position right there today, why you would risk humiliating yourself in front of 10 million people is something that is totally beyond me. Yo, now she's flexing the views? <sighs> Sheesh. Yeah, boys, I mean, at the height of this show, I actually believe that she was pulling 10 million views an episode, which is crazy if you think about it. Like, I don't even believe any YouTubers have that consistently. Shh, listen to me. I'm older, smarter. If you live to be 120, you're not gonna be as smart as I am in one finger. Do you understand? Whoa. <laughs> now that right there, folks, is a rare insult. I'm putting that in my playbook, boys. That might be the most savage thing I've ever heard come out of someone's mouth, and I really hate the word savage, so that's saying something. Truly, though, I don't think this woman realizes how big her world of trouble is about to be, especially since she keeps mouthing off to the judge and talking to her when she isn't supposed to. That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do in court. Just shut up and be serious. It will help you out in the long run. I promise you. Don't speak to me until I speak to you. You have to find something else to do with your time constructively other than make children who are going to grow up with no moral compass like their mother. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. That's yeah. all. Thank you. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Judge Judy drops the hammer on this woman. You know, I think she finally had enough of this woman talking back to her the whole time and speaking up to her when she shouldn't have, so she just had to shut her down one more time. She kind of goes over to the mother and daughter and confirms with her that this lady is basically a piece of trash, and so is her husband, and says that instead of working, she likes making children, which is kind of true as she has like three kids already and no job, even though she says that her husband has his own business, but who's to say? She even says that she's gonna send the IRS after this woman to make sure that they're checking out their little eBay scams they've been doing to see if they've been reporting that correctly. And she's gonna be contacting Child Protective Services because apparently that is not a good environment for the kids to be in. Big yikes to this woman again who should probably just get a job and find a way of making money that doesn't involve theft or scamming. And let's hope she has 5,000 saved up from these eBay scams or else she's gonna be in debt for quite some time. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't though because her husband and her probably spent all the money as soon as they got it whenever they are successful in one of these scams. So guys, real quick, I have a super fast challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. All right, so I'll admit, as funny as it is, it's kind of sad to watch these unfold as unfortunately there are people like this everywhere nowadays. So to lighten things up, I'm gonna leave you guys with one more court case where we get to meet a future Judge Judy in the making. So this is a much smaller court where people come to protest speeding tickets and things of that nature. And this judge is having a pretty boring day. So he asked this woman's daughter to come up on the stand with him or whatever it's called. I've, I've never been in a courtroom before to help them find a solution to her mom's speeding or parking ticket that she got. So should I give her a break and not charge her $85? Yes. And how much should I charge her, do you think? A hundred dollars. So as you can see, this little girl is just wanting to sabotage her own mom here. Well, not really as she's six, but she probably has it backwards thinking that he's going to be giving her mom a hundred dollars instead of taking it from her. I can charge her fifty dollars or I can charge her nothing. What should I charge her? Fifty dollars. Fifty. Okay. Well, she just isn't understanding this, is she? Her poor mom is gonna be stuck paying $50, which is still less than the original 85 she came to dispute. But I mean, you can't really be that mad when the girl is so adorably sabotaging this whole thing. Or, you know, the other way this could go is this girl fully understands this and her mom just did something to make her angry earlier that day. So this is her way of getting back at her. Mommy, remember when you didn't buy me that doll at Target earlier today? Well, joke's on you. You're about to lose six dolls worth of money because of your little lapse in judgment. I want you to understand, you know, that we know how much you love your mommy and how much she loves you. So we're going to dismiss it. Good luck. Thank you, Your Honor. Thanks. You got a wonderful young lady there. 
Wonderful. Thank you. So, of course, good guy Judge probably knew from the start when he was going to void this ticket. So he just wanted to make it interesting and mess with this lady a little bit. I'm sure he has some boring days in this courtroom, so that's probably exciting for him as well. With that, guys, I think we're going to end this video. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this, as I'm probably going to do much more Judge Judy episodes in the future. To be honest, I kind of forgot about her show even existing, and then when I remembered it, it was like a perfect fit for this channel, so seems like a no-brainer to me, but I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on it. As always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload of mine, and so that you can join my notification squad which is growing stronger and stronger every single day. I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out.